Welcome back to X3 Terran Conflict. Unfortunately, during the break that I took, my computer was eaten by bears. I have since lost my saved games. The auto games here are, you see here are actually me setting up for this run. This time I'm going to run with uh, the Mars Fire Control installed, and you'll see once I start getting turrets how useful it can be. Okay, once again we're going to have to start anew. So here's the intro video. out from the solar system by sheer luck, just barely, with billions upon billions left dead in their wake. The Earth Jump Gate was dismantled. Legislation was put in place never to allow AGI to be created again, ever. Okay, once again, once now that the video is done, we're being dropped back into our saber. Okay, some of you may be wondering why I'm doing Terran Conflict now when the, when the new expansion came out called... Uh, I, 
Actually, I can't remember what it's called. Well, there's a new expansion out. Terra the, pro Flight School the problem is, over. there is only actually one store, one plot line, one set of missions in the in that uh, expansion as it is. So I'd rather show you all these missions here, and then go and show you those missions once they have more installed. Also, another thing I'd like to note is that uh, I um, they are working on an extended mod for X3 Terran Conflict, which uh, will be adding a lot of missions and uh, better intelligence for the computers and all sorts of stuff. Um, I would check it out once it's uh, at a better completed stage. At this point now, we are waiting to receive our first mission. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and check to see if I can afford this combat software. For the sole purpose of providing so I'm going to go ahead and dock here. Hopefully I can afford it, because then I can uh, have my auto-aim on. Uh, on. It helps a lot when you're uh, sitting here fighting to have computer assistance. Hold on a second. I thought I changed that. Annoyance. Uh, controls. The controls are set. Audio set. Okay. Sorry you had to see that, but something got uh, reset. I thought I had everything set up before I started this video. For stock with these huge stations. Successfully done. Welcome aboard this Terran station. Connection. Hello, pilot. This is Lieutenant Flint, at USC. You drew a trial at the time of today. Come join us when you're ready. Unfortunately, it costs tw almost two and a half times as many credits as I have right now. So once I've got another 1,500 credits, I'll come back. I'll just deal without it for now. In the meantime, we've got our story mission already. Scimitar. Let's avoid hitting the station, and let's go start our first patrol. This is a new sector that was added um, during the Steam Summer event. I'll be showing that one to you later. My plans for this is to speed through the Terran plot, get into the um, the um, Final Fury plot, and then, uh, and then I will be, uh, starting the hub plot while I'm doing Final Fury. Hopefully I can get all that done quickly so we can, uh, get this taken care of. Okay. Are we patrolling or what? Boring. Sir, I'm tracking an unusual echo here on the graph. A faint line moving through the sector, coming in from the outer solar system, apparent. Nothing on my screen, pilot. That's probably our micro meteorite. Sometimes one will enter the transit accelerator and shoot across the populated area. They do register on the ground sometimes, so they're heavy enough. Now it's on my graph as well, sir. Two of them. Ah, I see them now. They must have disintegrated during transit, perhaps. Attention, all pilots. Terraformer attack reported in Neptune orbit. No AGI ships must be allowed to survive this incursion. Proceed to Neptune immediately. What? Terraformer? It's been over 20 years since. You held the captain people. Yes, you held the lady. Follow my lead. Execute. Follow your lead. You follow my lead. I'll be there first. Okay. At least we got semi auto aim, but uh, it's going to be a while before I can afford the next upgrade. Checking the mission. 
And looks like there's no uh, cost, no uh, bounty in with this mission yet. Okay, now the ex the new game that I mentioned previously, um, the Rebirth, it was delayed till next year. That's why I'm still doing this game. I counted six. It's not too many, but uh, it's been delayed. But they seem to be making a lot of stuff. Albion. Albion Prelude, that's the name of this new, the new, uh, expansion. But, uh, the, in that, in the, it's supposed to, the Albion Prelude was made because of the delay between the games. Uh, Albion Prelude was made because of the delay between the games, they wanted to have something out. To entertain people and is mostly made by modders in the community. Now, as far as the Xenon as far as it goes, it's pretty short at the moment. They're going to be adding more, but it's supposed to add, explain the story behind the ship, the Albion, which is the ship that you will be uh, playing as in the expansion uh, in the in uh, Rebirth. Transorbital accelerator, Pluto. So, in the rebirth, you will only be having one ship. However, the good news is, is you can seem to be uh, able to control drones, unmanned drones from your ship. Now, people have suggested that uh, that's the little itty bitty things that you find around, but uh, it seems to be more or less they're talking about actual ships that don't have pilots in them. Hold on a second. Let's talking more blowing up. Well, I'm scanning it. Scan complete. That's not how I intend to destroy it. But oh well. Still no credits. Call me pilot. The Terran people thank you for your help in eliminating this threat. You are being promoted. Promoted, but no money. Lovely. Well, time to go to the next area. But uh, once again, in Rebirth, you're stuck in one ship, but you'll have the ability to remote control pilot other ships. Okay. I don't know whether this means that uh, you're only going to be going to be able to remote control pilot fighters, or if you can pilot larger. But uh, that's what it more or less seems like. Now, this is this is both good and bad. It's good in the way that uh, they can make a one ship more interesting, and they're going to be having various upgrades to the ship as well. But it's bad in the, those players that like to. Try out different ships and fight in different ships. Perhaps they'll be uh, adding the ability in expansions, but uh, not in the original. Also, at the start, all the warp gates have ceased functioning. 
Well, it looks like that's what the guy we gotta follow. But all the warp gates have ceased functioning due to something. We are going to have, um, supposedly part way around the plot, we figure it out why they stopped working and get them working again, but in the meantime, a lot of time has passed and uh, there are super highways going around which is just fast transit but not as not instantaneous like the warp gates. Okay, let's go find it. I'm not even in the right sector yet. That must be an orbital lifter. I never saw one jump into sector before. I always thought they came from the planet. But, uh... They, they, like I said, they have super highways which cannot... which connect to various systems. They're trying to make it so that you can actually fly around the solar system like it's actually a solar system rather than a s series of interconnected connected sectors like it is now. And so they have the highways and superhighways to connect them for that. Okay, we'll, we have yet to see how it's actually going to turn out. But hopefully it turns out nice. That's what we're all hoping for. Okay, this is definitely where I want to be. Okay, let's go find the message drone. Message drone. Unfortunately, you can move faster than you. All you can do is hope to keep up. Nova. And here we got an unidentified Nova here. Once again, if you ever watch my other videos, Jump you've seen this. No aim. Debris. And that's just debris. Pilot, there's Lieutenant Blitzer. I've got a message from command that all drones are either destroyed or intercepted. That's nice. Can they be more impressed with money? I would really like that. Oh well, back to the patrol here. That somehow caught up to me. All ships, follow my lead. Yeah. Eat my dust. get this mission over with. Maybe get some cash. Entering system. Okay. Now we patrol. And this time we're getting reward rewarded. Finally. This will buy us some software. And possibly some ship upgrades as well. Well, on any patrol mission, it's good to map the sector because you never know where you're, where you're gonna, where the enemy might show up. Yeah, got that gate on. So far, no contacts, but I'm sure there's something out here. I haven't found that station yet. Oddly enough, I can see it, but I have not mapped it. It'd be nice if it would auto-map any station that was apparently visible. You know, obvious. 
Oh, we've got an N over here. Let's take care of it. Xenon N. Close distance. Hey, stop shooting that civilian ship. Ha. Nice. Nice dodge in there. And I get another. A couple extra credits for that. There might be more ships out this way. So let's head out this way and look around. I have yet to receive the order to head to the next sector. That's because there's another one right here. I'm definitely going to need a better scanner too. And here we go, closing in on him. So closing in on him. Target is now in firing range. Stop being hard to hit. Gotcha. No That's another. Production facility and now they're telling me it was clear. To the next sector. So far I've got a total of bonus of 612 credits. It may not sound like much, but I can use every single credit I can get right now. Another thing that they did in the expansion was they actually broke the, everything down into multiple threads. So it will take better advantage of multi-core processors, which is always a good thing. System, Neptune. Okay, patrol Neptune, once again, let's look around. Make sure we've mapped everything. And there we have another orbital lifter to operate. Much of the much of the um, economy of uh, the Terran area is actually done off the planets via the orbital lifters. That's actually what they're for. They uh, head to the orbital supply bases, fill it up with supplies so the supplies can be distributed through the rest of the system. It's, I guess there was nothing here or it was killed quickly before I can find it. So the next sector. I would have rather had a kill or two. But that's the artificial life for you. Entering system, Uranus. Okay, I believe this is the last patrol. Or is it Saturn? I can't remember. But regardless, we got a gate over here we haven't found. Might as well map it while we're here. There's 
Okay. And now just fly through. See if we see any trouble. I apologize if uh, some of these segments are a little bit slow. Unfortunately, without better scanners in these large sectors, it's hard to find enemy targets. After all, at a distance, everything looks like a speck. See some stuff over here. Are there enemies in sector? Uh, this looks like a Terran patrol. Yep. And this segment is getting pretty boring. Where are they? Well, I guess they're finally gone. And then this, is the, this should be the last leg. Hopefully we'll see a little more action. If not, I apologize, the end of this mission was kind of boring. So I'll head in there because I got the equipment I need as well. And I should have gotten the money by now. I got the money, but it looks like it's going to give me the money again. That is odd. But if they're willing to double, bu double pay me, I'm all right with that. I'll just buy more equipment. And yes, mission complete. Welcome aboard this Terran station. Oh, they did not pay me again. Pilot, you've been ordered to meet with Major General Ichiyama of the ATF outpost in the upper yeah. world. Seems you're getting yourself noticed, pilot. And better Aw, can't afford this better scanner. Oh well. Insufficient credits. Insufficient credits. Well, with the fight command software, I should be able to uh, switch my auto aim to on, and this will give me better turning. And that will be it for this uh, mission in this episode. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully we'll have more interesting stuff later on. And is that a picture of the moon? Or... That's interesting. I never so noticed that on there. But I will see you, guys see you all later.